Hey guys, welcome back to Royce's Math Club. Today's topic is adding fractions. So in this topic, I'll show you how to add fractions step by step in four easy steps. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, so let's take the two fractions, 7 over 8, and we have to add that with 6 over 9. Okay, so, so the first step in adding fractions is to find the LCM of the denominators. Okay, and the two denominators are 8 and 9, uh, and so we have to find the LCM. So let's put the numbers 8. And number 9, okay, and to find the LCM, we need to first list the multiples for each number, okay, and whenever we find the fir first common multiple, that will be our least common multiple, okay, so let's get started. So some uh, multiples for the number 9 will be 8, I mean for number 8 would be 8, 16, 24, 32, and 40, okay, some multiples for the number 9 would be 9, 18, 27, 36, and 45. Okay, we have listed five multiples for each number, and we still didn't find our, We still didn't find any common multiple. So we have to keep on going. Okay, so eight times six is 48. Eight times seven is 56. Eight times eight is uh, 64, and eight times nine is 72. Okay. Some multiples for the number 9 would be 9 times 6 is 54, 9 times 7 is 63, 9 times 8 is 70, let me do that again, okay, 9 times 8 is 72, okay, wait, 72 and 72, we found our first common multiple, so 72 is going to be our least common multiple, it's going to be our LCM, okay, now that we find our LCM, so, um, so we can now say that the fractions are, so, um, se um, 7 over 72, and you have to add that with 6 over 72, okay? So, now we have the two common denominators, okay? Now, step number 2 is to rename the numerators, okay? So, the numerators cannot stay the same. They have to be renamed. What I mean by that is, uh, let's say, so we have to multiply the numerators by the same numbers and multiply the denominators with to get the LCM. Well, what I mean by that is if I multiply 8 with 9 to get the number 72, then I have to multiply 7 with 9 as well. And we know that 7 times 9 gives us 63. Okay. Now, if I multiply 9 times 8 to get the 72, then I have to multiply 6 with 8 as well. Okay, so 6 times 8 is equal to 48. Okay. So now that I have two uh, equivalent fractions for each of these fractions, Step number three is to add numerators only. So I'm going to keep the denominators as they are. Okay, so add numerators only and keep denominators. Okay, so 63 plus 48 and 72 will remain the same. So what I need to do is add 63 with 48. So uh, 3 plus 8 is 11. Bring that one over. 6 plus 1 is 7 plus that 4 is 11. So we get our number which is um, one, 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 so triple one, so one, one, one is going to be our numerator, and we keep the denominator as it is, 72, and we get our final fraction, which is, uh, one, 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 so 111 over 72. Now, step number four is to simplify this fraction, okay? So, so since this is an improper fraction, we need to make it into a mixed number, okay? So, we need to divide the numerator, which is the number... 111 with the denominator, which is the number 72. So, 111 and 72. And you know, the 70, uh, um, uh, 72 goes into 111 one times, okay? So, 72, and then we subtract and we get 39. So, our mixed number is going to be, so 1 is going to be our whole number, okay? 39 is going to be the numerator, and 72 is going to be the denominator, okay? So now we have our final answer, which is 139 over 72, which is the sum to the problem 7, 7 over 8 plus 6 over 9. Okay, so this is how you add fractions. Um, check out our blog at rowancesmathclub.com, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.